So we've got a nice little treat for you today. We've got a video on Slinger Signaler hand signals. If you're, if you're banking a crane, you'll either use a radio or use hand signals. I've got my glamorous assistant, Jack. Morning. He's gonna be giving you all the signals. So we're gonna go down the list. We're gonna use signals for tail cranes and also telescopic cranes, which are, uh, <laughs> Oh, sorry about the noise, mainly used on mobile cranes, uh, crawlers and merlots and forklifts and stuff like that. Now you notice when he was, what hands he was using there, he was using his opposites hands there so he was doing it in the perspective of the crane driver this is a mistake that slingers often use when they say slew left they say they use their left and right rather than the crane driver's left and right which is a mirror image so it's something to bear in mind So these next ones are for slingers who've got a pick and carry ticket. Um, these are for people who are uh, similar to traffic marshal who has to move vehicles. So if you're using a mobile crane, crawler crane or excavator or something like that, uh, and you, they need to travel with the loads, you'll use these signals. So you notice again, it's doing them in the perspective of the crane driver. So it's the crane driver's right and the crane driver's left. So these actions are all uh, signals covered under BS7121 legislation, the standard hand signals across the board. But that's where it gets interesting. On site is a whole different world. A lot of people won't use these hand signals. So you'll have to get familiar with what people use on site. What you'll often get as well is the old uh, crafty head nod. <laughs> what are some? As a crane driver, you often get a slinger say to you, Jim, watch my head. Because they'll be, obviously they'll be having on to hold on to the loads, they'll be slinging, they'll be moving around, walking on difficult, um, on rough surfaces. So they'll be holding their radio or they'll, they'll just say, 
keeping an eye on the head and as it's coming down or going up, I'll give it the old head nod. So to give an example, let's say Jack has got a load in his hands and he's about to land it. Uh, it's, the load's about four foot off the ground, he's just steadying it, put it in his position, he's got no hands available. Uh, when he's ready to, to hoist down, he will go and then you'll start hoisting down, hoisting down, hoisting down, and it's landed. So you like this one. This is a really, really important one. So when there's no work to do, or there is work to do, and the slinger doesn't want to do any work, this is what it will do. This means put your feet up. Just a quick one. If you like all this stuff, head over to my website, constructioncogs.com. The link is in the description below. You'll love it over there. It's full of crane porn. It'll blow your mind. Before you do that though, hit that like button and hit subscribe. It'll really help me out. I appreciate it very much. Cheers. See you soon.